Hi, my name's Chris Hoy. I'm a six-time Olympic gold medalist and an 11-time world champion in the sport of track cycling. But I've also got a massive passion for motorsport. Hello, I'm Michael Ammermüller. I'm two times Porsche Super Cup champion and I really love cycling. Uh, yeah, the speed, speed of the cars, I really like the noise. And uh, the fighting between uh, yeah, our concurrents, that's, that's really fun on the track. For me, it's the speed, but not quite the same speed as motorsport. Um, you do about 80 kilometers an hour on the track. It's the bankings, the G-force, the, the closeness when you're racing wheel to wheel with another competitor and the atmosphere with the crowd as well. But yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, the greatest moment I think uh, was uh, the last race of the, the championships when I, when I won the championship. Uh, last lap when you cross the line and then uh, yeah, all the pressure comes down and uh, then you, you realize uh, you are first in the championship. That's, that's I think, uh, one of the greatest feeling uh, you, can, uh, you can have. For me, it would have been London 2012, my final race at the Olympic Games. I won my sixth gold medal in front of a home crowd and it was an unforgettable day. Um, hugely emotional and yeah, stepping on that podium for the last time to get the gold medal was a, a moment I'll always remember. The most difficult moment was when I was racing in GP2 and I had an accident and I broke my wrist and at this time I was also a Formula 1 test driver for Red Bull Racing and uh, yeah this was very hard for me because uh, yeah I, I couldn't race for like half a year. For me I think in 2009 I had a crash in Copenhagen at the World Cup and I, I damaged my hip and I was off the bike for about three months, I couldn't do any training for three months and I was 33 at that time and people were asking if I was going to retire and if that was the end of my career but I really wanted to go on to London to the Home Olympics so that was that was tough mentally and tough physically having to rest and, and athletes hate hate resting you know it's not much fun when you can't compete so yeah yeah when I was young and started with karting I, I tried to 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 be fit and then I started recycling and uh, yeah after school I was watching the tour every time and uh, after the tour was finished I went out and uh, went on the bike so this was a big motivation for me and uh, since then uh, I always uh, was on the bike and uh, really loved cycling. I guess I've always been a fan of motorsport, I used to watch F1, I used to watch Le Mans, I used to watch the rally, Colin McRae was one of my heroes when I was growing up so I never thought I'd get the chance to race in cars but I, I used to do track days for fun at the end of every cycling season and it was when I retired from cycling, an opportunity came along to do a novice race series and I grabbed it with both hands and uh, any, any opportunity I've had in motorsports since then I've given it a go because I absolutely love it. I think I can learn a lot more from Michael than Michael can learn from me, to be honest. Yeah, I'm, I've been trying to pick his brains already about the new surface and how to drive the car better and braking and weight distribution. There's, these, these cars are so specific in how you drive them. So. The knowledge that, that Michael and these other guys have is, is very valuable to me, but I'm not sure. All I can say to him is left, right, left, right, push harder. That's yeah. about it, really. <laughs> yeah, we, can, we should change the, the legs, then maybe you can help me. You need to shave your legs. Yeah, you, go no, right. you shave your legs, you go faster. <laughs> okay. Uh, I hope I can win the race, of course. Uh, I think uh, they are the, the most fans uh, on the racetrack. Uh, on all the on the calendar, and uh, I, yeah, I really like it uh, to have the the grandstands full. Uh, it's uh, yeah, a lot better feeling in the car if you watch outside and, and see all the people. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that moment when the lights go out at the start, and you get to experience what it's like to race on the track during a British Grand Prix weekend because it's it's an opportunity not many people ever get the chance to do. So yeah, for me, I've, I've been a fan for many years and watched and been down here and stood in the stands and watched the F1 guys go around and the Super Cup go around. This is, this is a real, a big moment for me to get this chance.